Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this episode is all about sharing. And when I'm talking about sharing, I'm not talking about sharing your toys or something like that. <laughs> if you still got any. I'm talking about sharing um, conversations, being in communication with people and sharing what's going on, stories, to, uh, sharing problems, sharing all sorts of things with someone else or a group of other people. And there's different kinds of sharing. And the reason I'm sharing this with you <laughs> is because they affect people in different ways. They affect you when you receive the sharing from somebody. And just by understanding it and knowing the different types of sharing, it'll affect the relationships you have with people. And it also might give you a little bit of an understanding why some conversations leave you feeling energized, inspired, um, in love, uh, whatever it is, and others end up leaving you feeling drained, exhausted, fractious, um, angry, upset, and whatever else. So the different types that I'm gonna share with you today is sharing from illusion, and sharing from the heart. Now, when someone shares from illusion, they're sharing things that they think should or shouldn't be a certain way, must or mustn't be a certain way. Um, they're sharing in resistance to reality and they're sharing their opinions. So anytime somebody shares something that they don't think should be the way that it is, that's sharing from illusion. And sort of thrown into this is also sharing gossip. So sharing opinions and thoughts on other people and their lives. And it's not always the truth that's shared in these times. It's somebody's opinion of what they think has happened or what they've heard has happened, but it's not really the truth. And when you realize that all of this is sharing from illusion and you enter into a conversation, although the conversation might make you feel quite energized, you might be quite engaged with it, when you leave, just really check in on your energy level and be really honest with yourself. Do you feel like your heart has expanded? Do you feel clean and at peace and happy with the world? Or do you feel fractious, slightly frazzled? You might have um, you might have high energy, but I would most likely guess that the energy is a bit frantic or frenetic rather than joyful and energized, clean sort of energy. So all of that is grouped into illusion. And if somebody is sharing with you and sharing from illusion, there's a number of things that you can do, and you'd have to wait till the end. <laughs> and I'll give you a tool so that you know what to do to get people out of illusion and into the present. And then the other type of sharing is when someone shares something from the heart. Um, if they've got a problem, a challenge, something's going on, and they're being really vulnerable with you, and they're wanting to talk it through. And these conversations are beautiful. Um, not only do you connect on a much deeper level to the person that you're with, and you build a really beautiful bond with that person, but it can help you to feel inspired, it can help you to resolve whatever's going on, even if the person you're sharing it with doesn't give you the answer. Sometimes when you share from the heart, just talking something through can help you to figure out what it is that you need to do, what action you need to take. So that kind of sharing is really, really important. And there's lots of tools that you can actually do for teamwork and whatever else that you can apply to heart-centered sharing, but I'm not gonna go into those now. What I would suggest is that when you share from the heart with somebody, you pick the person you share with very carefully. Because if that person is somebody who's very much invested in illusion, as I've spoken about with gossip and giving opinions, then they're not gonna be the right person to share with. Because as I said, the person doesn't actually need to give you an answer to what it is you're sharing. They just need to hold the right space for you. Um, they might help you, they might give you an answer, they might give you an idea, but they're not attached to their idea being right. They're simply helping you to navigate through something. Part of heart-centered sharing is also sharing inspiration with somebody. If something's happened and you're really excited about it, there's, I don't actually understand why, but maybe it's just the, the universe experiencing itself through us um, that causes this deep desire to share something when something amazing has happened in your life. Part of that is also heart-centered sharing. And then there's a third type of sharing, and I think it falls more into the illusion, but I haven't really pondered it deeply enough to know exactly if it fits into either of those categories or if it's its own category altogether. And that's when somebody feels bad about something that they've done, but they're not prepared to change anything that they've done, 
but they don't like the feeling of it being inside them, so they share it. And in doing so, they poison the person that they're actually sharing it with. And as I said, I'm not exactly sure which camp that falls into or if it is it's, its own camp altogether. But just be very aware when somebody does that or if you do it, um, if you've done something that you feel guilty or bad about, think twice about sharing it with somebody else because you're, you're sharing the negative energy around that thing. Um, and I know this because I've been told secrets by people in the past. Normally, when I was much younger, it hasn't happened to me recently. And in keeping those secrets, I almost condone the thing that the person did, although I don't condone it. And it's not I didn't take the action and I'm not responsible for it. But somehow it's contaminating. So be very aware when you share with people um, how you share. If you've done something that you feel guilty about and upset about and whatever else, then there's a way to talk about it and a way to try and process it and find solutions for it rather than just sharing it to rather off burden yourself without any thought to actually correcting the thing that you've done or to rebalancing or addressing it or making it right, should I say. Now, when I spoke about illusion and sharing from illusion, which as I've said, is all about sharing your opinion or sharing gossip, which is generally opinion. <laughs> There is a way that if you find yourself in this kind of conversation with people, there are a number of things that you can do to help shift those people out of their little illusion bubble and into a much more conscious, aware bubble. And the way to do that is to ask them what they propose to do about whatever it is that they've been talking about. It's to ask them about taking an action. Because the problem with illusion and being in an illusion conversation is that there it doesn't resolve anything, it doesn't change anything. But as soon as you ask somebody what action they're going to take, then they have to start thinking about an action and thinking about changing something. And the whole energy of the conversation changes when that happens. I hope you've enjoyed today's little instalment. And as usual, if you want to get hold of me or contact me or connect with me, my social media links will all be below in the show notes along with my website where you can find my online courses. Um, I also do coaching, consciousness coaching, helping people shift from the ego state into a much more conscious self-aware state and you can find my contacts and connect with me there if you want to. So much love from me to you and have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.